Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Mental House with me. Your host, Tadiji. I'm going to give y'all a little update. You know, Sade Robinson's mother pleads with suspect's parents, Illinois, a bishop said. A mother is on a mission to find transparency and the rest of her daughter's remains. Prosecutors say that after the first date, of course, we all know Maxwell Anderson killed a 19-year-old named Sade Robinson before dismembering her body. In a new statement, Robinson's mom, Sheena Scarborough, is pleading with the parents of Anderson. She's asking them, she's literally begging them to convince him to confess, confess to where Robinson's remains are. Scarborough is also calling out that Waukegan, Illinois, Alderman I told y'all about, um, we're at the point where we want to cut to the truth, said Verona Swanigan, the attorney for Scarborough. Cut to the heart of the matter. Actually, um, this is Verby's daughter, Verby Swanigan. She needs to be the uh, district attorney of Milwaukee. We really need her um, to be the district attorney. Because we have to change the good old Irish network that we have going on, not just all across the country, but more specifically, um, definitely in Milwaukee. I mean, they just hand it off. Just hand it off to the other Irish. First you have McCann. He hands it off to, to Chisholm. Uh, uh, you know, and I, well, I, I don't want to, I've digressed. That's what Swanigan said. Prosecutors say in April, Anderson scattered Robinson's body parts at different locations in Milwaukee County after he killed her. In the letter that was provided to Fox 6 News, Scarborough is pleading with Anderson's parents. His family should have the ability to influence him. If they are in any way, shape, or form decent human beings, they should take steps to convince him to tell the truth. Well, there's your answer right there. No sane and rational human being could even produce something like that. Could even produce something like that. And you think they're going to tell you uh, unfortunately, I mean, I wish it was really that easy, and I wish they would. But there is no way. Mm hmm. Uh, I over downstairs. Uh, you okay. Yes. Thank you. All right. Have a great day. Bye. You do the same. Thank you. Right, bye bye. bye, -bye. So. When you look at this thing, well, y'all know Anderson um, pleaded not guilty. And he's not taking any responsibility, of course. <clears throat> well, of course, he pleaded not guilty, and he's not taking any responsibility. Uh, for what has happened. So, you know, his attorney is not commenting on the letter. Swanigan also filed a series of Freedom of Information Act requests after Waukegan Alderman Keith Turner, which was a black man, posted a picture to Facebook of what appears to be a severed arm that washed up on the beach. You know, people are just so uncaring, so unfeeling. I mean, I, 
I can't think of what universe, what planet would somebody think that is um, appropriate to do unless you just want clicks of view. You know, which is really a travesty that we would do anything to get some attention. Robinson's family told Fox News that the Milwaukee County Sheriff's Department notified them last week about the arms discovery. Um, we want to know what happened to the chain of custody, Swanigan said. We want to know how this information got leaked, who leaked it, and we want them to be held accountable. That's what's wrong in America. Nobody gets held accountable. Robinson's family is waiting for the DNA results for that arm. Turner's post upset the Robinson's family and his constituents, who spoke during a council meeting on Monday. He should be terminated. I can say that whole fully hearted without any afterthought. Swanigan said he should just be terminated. Another person, an alderman, alderman, said they plan to censure Turner at their next meeting in June. Scarborough also demanding her daughter's death certificate so they can handle her affairs. I want y'all to continue to pray for this family. Keep them in your prayers. Uplift them. Uh, I do believe that prayer changes things. And um, I want some closure for them so bad. Um, and the other side of that is I just want Sheena to also just come to terms with a lot of times you lose a loved one over in war torn circumstances. A lot of times they can't ship the remains back or the remains that they have are so small that, you know, you could probably just wear them around your neck. I mean, there's all kinds of circumstances where you may not recover the body of your loved one. But you know that they're deceased. And that, and that has to be a painful feeling. However, I don't want none of us to get so caught up in the body aspect that we can't send her soul off to rest. So with that being said, I want to know what y'all think about that. How y'all feel? Y'all think that should, they should just keep trying till they find other body parts uh, until you can find a complete whole person? Or should you have alternative thoughts about how you're going to handle it collectively as a family? I want to know what y'all think. Okay? So if you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, and share. And um, I'm going to see y'all in the next video. I have to go and tend to my granddaughter because she wants to stop me from recording. And I'm going to go take care of her right now. So I'll see y'all in the next one.